what's going on it's d simone welcome back to my channel y'all already know what time it is time for another pick a car reading okay and today we are just going to be doing some love messages okay so i shuffle the cards and i'm just gonna see what comes out okay i didn't ask any um questions i just said you know what do my viewers need to know about their love life so we're gonna get into it we're gonna see what is coming out for you guys so of course we have our four piles here pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four so you want to meditate over the, the piles and you want to use your intuition to guide you to the pile or the piles if it is more than one that calls out to you. And I will see you guys at your reading. So what love messages do you need to hear? Let's find out. Hey, pound number one, if you chose this crystal, welcome to your reading, okay? And before we start, I'm going to just get some five songs from my love readings playlist. So, you know, these songs could hold important confirmations to you or you guys could like these songs. So, we're going to see what five songs come out for y'all. We got Let Me Love You by Mario. Oh, snap. Oh, sucky, sucky. <laughs> we got um, Jungle by Drake. We have Ordinary People by John Legend. We have Love Song by Sarah Bareilles, and then we have Healer by Mick Jenkins. All right. That kind of goes in with the message I am feeling here, y'all. So we got Crown Chakra, Deception and Envy, Go the Distance, Mending, The Garden and the Gate, Victory, Trust, The Magician, Queen of Chalices, Five of Cups, Finances, heart, Finance and Career, Heart to Heart Conversations, Meditate, Abundance, All Me, Pose. Okay. So if you chose this pal, I'm feeling like y'all not even focused on love. Y'all not even worried about it. But y'all do have somebody, however, that's worried about y'all, okay? I feel like y'all are trusting the universe, okay? Um, you know, with j j the Jungle Drake song, it says, These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. Y'all know that song? That was the second song that came out. But it's like, y'all not even worried. It's like, I feel like somebody is wanting to mend something with you. Or somebody is wanting to finally go the distance with you or come after you and have this victory with you but it's like y'all are focused on y'all abundance y'all are focused on meditating on getting everything that you desire or you want to manifest y'all are focused on self-love um catering to yourselves look the magician here creating your best life okay and you're just trusting that when love is supposed to come into your life it will come okay i feel like y'all are focused on your money but there is somebody however kind of envious of this new start or this new beginning you have or they're envious of um just how you're living okay i feel like this is somebody that is not in your life or was in your life but is no longer okay um they're wanting to come and have a conversation with you um but it's like you're like not even focused on them this person could even be um you know checking up on you um maybe even looking at your social media but i do feel like this could be somebody in your past because i am feeling some regret here with this five of cups there is definitely some regret here. So this is somebody that um, may have did you wrong or left you out in the cold before. And now they're just seeing you glow up. They're seeing you in your abundance. And now they're wanting to come back and claim you as all theirs. But it's like, you see her in this victory card? It's like, she's not even focused on, it. like, she's just basking in her abundance, okay? Like, she's just looking beautiful and amazing and her eyes are closed. It's like, you can't even see this person. So your love message is, is like, you're doing a wonderful job. Uh, creating this new future for yourself being more disciplined okay learning more about yourself getting these crown chakra updates but you know that is all attracting the love that is meant to you because you are trusting in the divine plan okay but there's somebody in the background wanting to come in and go after you <laughs> wanting to go to distance for you is somebody i'm hearing lay it out on the line so if somebody wants to lay it all out on the line for you and have a conversation with you and be honest about their feelings okay um like i said this could definitely be somebody from the past somebody you ended things with or this could even be a new person um that is just witnessing you do great and witnessing you grow and wanting to come in and talk to you but i do feel like you guys are very much so in love with the money at this point in your life y'all not even really focus on love because you just know once you take your focus off of it that is when it will come to you and y'all are right because somebody is peeping y'all somebody seeing you as very nurturing okay somebody could really um like your boobs <laughs> or 
um if you're a guy you like boobs or you know whichever if you're attracted to girls um if you're a part of the lgbtq plus community y'all take it how it resonates flip flop back i don't want to leave anybody out but just you know make sure y'all um taking it from the perspective it is for y'all okay and um it's like somebody's wanted to mend something or want something to come together but i just feel like you can't see it what's going on here sir? this could be a leo energy this could be a leo that you had a fight with or this could even be somebody that feels like they're in competition for your um attention or your energy okay this is somebody that wants to be seen by you this is i'm hearing notice me somebody wants you to notice them but it's like you too focus on the money it's like you you um <laughs> you guys to focus on your happiness and what brings you abundance i feel like you guys could have been hurt a lot in love and you just decided that you want to go off on your own path and let whatever happens come okay but somebody is definitely trying to um holler at you somebody definitely peeping you out looking at you from afar okay um what else spirit yeah this could definitely even be somebody you walked away from like i said past or new like y'all know um y'all could even be intuitively feeling like somebody was watching y'all or looking um towards y'all or even watching y'all social media okay but the universe is just asking you to have trust in your situation um continue to meditate continue to do what's best for you when this person excuse me if they decide to come forward and speak to you which i'm feeling they will you know you determine if you want this person in your life or not if you want to stay single and continue to be on your grind and be in love with the money you do that if you feel like this person is worth your time then give them a chance but i just feel like y'all aren't even focused on you know wanting love y'all are trying to mature y'all are trying to gain your strength okay i feel like y'all are not giving up on a specific goal you have set maybe even a year ago or a year up or plus ago okay y'all could be seeing a lot of sevens as well seven 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 but i feel like y'all are on the right track y'all are moving forward cancer energy within your career or whatever you are wanting to bring into your life and be careful you could have some people um that are not love interests that are also deceptive of you okay i'm hearing smart so somebody could be um envious of your um your intelligence i'm hearing here okay and yeah we have eight of swords queen of swords and the devil you guys could also be working on releasing negative thoughts y'all are working on um caring for yourself more and releasing these negative thought patterns that have held you back in the past okay or this could be a um a gemini libra aquarius that may be in this deceptive energy sun moon rising venus okay maybe trying to keep you trapped in your head okay um yeah follow y'all intuition okay but yeah i just feel like y'all um are just trusting y'all love messages y'all are on the right track y'all are trusting y'all are about to have victory y'all are creating your own abundance okay but somebody does want to come and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and they want to be honest about the things they feel for you okay so yeah that is what i'm getting that is y'all love message if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later peace hey pal number two if you chose this crystal welcome to your reading let's get right into it but first i um i did this for the first pal i had went through my love readings playlist and got some songs so these songs to hold important confirmations for you or you could listen to these songs or like these songs so we're gonna see what five songs comes out for you guys we have love like honey by pretty ricky okay <laughs> we get um research by big shana ariana grande we have boss by the carters why is that on this playlist whatever um we have kalani's freestyle by party next door and we have all night by beyonce okay so we're gonna get right into it y'all we have power temptation treasure chest chop wood strategy financial constraints um listen to your intuition the ace of pentacles the king of wands the ten of wands new love passion growth fire sign social media gift okay so all this fire energy so some of y'all could definitely be fire signs or you have dealt with a fire sign in the past okay the reason why i'm emphasizing past is because i feel like if you chose this pal i'm just to be honest i feel like you ain't you know did the did did the do <laughs> 
you haven't, you know, engaged in any sexual activity of any kind in a long time, you guys could be abstinent, okay? And I feel like you guys are waiting for the person that is for you, okay? I feel like you guys have cut off a lot of old connections or you, or you could have just, you know, um, decided that you were going to stop um, talking to multiple people at once. Or I, I feel like this is y'all past because your current energy, I'm getting like more in your power, more of in self-control, listening to your intuition, saying no to things that you know aren't good for you. Even if you want to engage, you'd be like, no, nah, I'm good. Okay. But in the past, y'all could have, um, you know, y'all could have had hoes or whatever. <laughs> Y'all could have, uh, you know, been doing whatever, okay? But right now, I just feel like y'all are, like, strategizing and y'all are preparing for new love. Y'all are preparing for the person that you want to be in your life. But with passion in reverse, temptation in reverse, treasure island in reverse, all this water, it's like, <laughs> y'all, like, um, y'all could be um sexually frustrated, I'm feeling, okay? I do feel like there is somebody watching you on social media that may want to give you guys a gift, okay? This could be a fire sign, okay, that is admiring your growth from afar. Fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they can have it heavy in their chart. Um, they're admiring your growth from afar, and I feel like um, this gift could potentially be money or could help you with your financial situation. But this person could be trying to strategize how to come towards you, okay? Um, I feel like this person could... Even be similar to y'all, not having done anything in a minute or trying to, you know, um, save themselves for the person that is truly for them. Okay, um, Leo energy heavy here. Definitely, okay, you got power, temptation, this fire sign card. We got the king of wands here too. Um, <laughs> but it's like, I feel like you guys, um, um, honestly... I feel like you guys are ready to, well, when that person comes along, you will be open to, you know, engaging in said activity again. But it's like right now, you're not really thinking about it. I feel like you guys are strategizing your next move, okay? You're trying to get out of any debt you guys are in or you're trying to move to the next level within your finances. I do see an increase here, okay? But I just feel like y'all are practicing a lot a lot of self-control okay it's like you don't want king of wands behavior you want you know this i feel like y'all actually want love okay y'all don't want just sex so y'all are willing to wait for that person okay and that person is coming the passion will come back into your life but you know just be patient you guys but i definitely feel like there is somebody peeping you okay or at the very least you know just thinking you look good when they come towards you Okay, can we get more info on this? We have listened to your intuition. So, you guys, if you have been thinking about walking away from anything as well, or you just feeling like something is not right for you or somebody isn't right for you, or maybe this person could hasn't even come into your life yet, walk away from anything that you feel is truly not for you, okay? Yep, we have six of wands here. Yeah. If you guys have been saving yourself, don't just, um, you know, give in to the first person that comes along which i don't feel like y'all will but it's like you know if you haven't been dating anybody or talking to anybody for a long time it could get kind of lonely but they're saying you know wait like make sure you guys you know aren't jumping the gun and make sure you get to know somebody and if you feel something is off with a situation or a person dip out of there okay um yeah i feel like you guys have you know you just could have struggled with love in the past and you just decided that you wanted to wait until you know you found your person you guys have been discovering your power you guys have been you know focused on yourself self-love and i just feel like you're gonna get rewarded with the love you deserve because of your patience and your self-control yeah what i say you're gonna give love with you're gonna get rewarded with the love you deserve two of pentacles clarified by the ten of cups on the back so yeah if you guys have been abstinent saving yourselves and you know not even talking to people just really focus on yourself and your growth you are going to be entering into a healthy relationship because you have taken time to heal yourself okay and there will be no third parties in the situation you're going to attract somebody that's exactly like you guys okay um i feel like you guys could have don't dealt with this a lot in the past or this could have even been y'all a little bit sneaky okay but i feel like y'all wanted to turn over a new leaf and y'all wanted to get to a better place so yeah the work you have been doing is paying off Okay, the anxiety is over. Okay, juggling is over. So you're going to um, attract the partner that's just for you. And they're going to think the same about you. 
sorry guys my mom came downstairs but um what was i saying yeah y'all gonna be rewarded for y'all self-control basically okay um you have the ten of wands. It, it, they're gonna complete the cycle. You guys have let go of so many burdens, and I feel like you guys have also healed. Okay, you, you have bossed up, and I feel like y'all just over like um, being on the giving and the receiving end of any like fuck boy, fuck girl type behavior, and like I feel like y'all have just come into a place of inner peace. And I feel like y'all even maybe put a different meaning on sex as well. Like, um, yeah, I'm getting a really um, pure energy. You guys' energy is really pure. Yep, y'all look, Ace of Wands are in reverse. Y'all really ain't been doing nothing. Okay, sitting up here becoming the Empress. Okay, <laughs> sitting up here becoming the Empress. And, you know, yeah, letting go of all this fast paced behavior. Okay, y'all have let go. This is my card, my um, pile of people that have turned in their player's card because they know that it's not going to really get them in a loving relationship. It's going to continue to get, you know, them with heartbreak or, um, you know, false love offers, false starts. So I feel like you guys have redeemed yourself from your old behavior. Therefore, you will now be attracting somebody that has done the same. Okay, I feel like if you chose this pal, you were actually attracted a faithful love. Okay, because, yeah, you've had the strength. All this Leo energy. We got Leos in here, somebody with heavy Leo in their chart. But you had the strength to hold yourself back. So now you're going to be rewarded with somebody that's nurturing. That's somebody that um, matches you, that a healer. Okay, somebody that can actually heal you. And there will be a happy home life here. So, yep, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, pal number two. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, pal number three, if you chose this crystal, welcome to your reading. So, I did this with the other two pals, so I'm going to do it with y'all. I was actually getting songs from my love readings playlist, okay? So, um, these songs can hold important meanings to you. You guys can like these songs. We're just going to see what love songs come out for you guys, okay? We get Take My Time by Chris Brown and Tank. Ooh, y'all love this song. <laughs> we get, um... Teach Me How to Love by Music Soul Child. Oh, this is special. Oh, y'all, my heart. Like, I feel all butterflies in my stomach. And then you got a woman holding a heart, a man holding a heart here. This is a really, really special connection. It's going to be very, very intimate. Okay? We got One Way by Black. We have While We're Young by Janae Echo. Oh, this is beautiful. We have Bed by Jay Holiday. I'm gonna get one more. Is it because I'm feeling the love in this pal? Like, you finna be in love if you chose this pal. Oh my god. <laughs> and we got um, Say It by Neo. Okay. So we have Fulfillment of Wishes, Financial and Material Changes, Firm Foundation, Not For You in Reverse, Fork in the Road, Make the Effort, Reconciliation, Woman Holding the Heart, Man Holding the Heart. Opportunity in Reverse, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, The World, Idea, Pinky Promise, Yes, Number One Fan. Oh, y'all, this is a whole little difficult ass love story right here. This is cute. This is real cute. Okay, guys, so I just want to point out we have a woman holding a heart and a man holding a heart. So this is some type of soulmate connection. Divine counterparts, twin flames, soulmates, karmics, all that bullshit, okay? So <laughs> this is a um this is a faded connection. This is somebody that y'all are meant to be with. But either it's something blocking it or somebody feels like they have missed an opportunity. Okay? Because we have reconciliation here. Somebody could feel like they've missed the opportunity to reconcile with somebody, or with this fork in a row here, it's like um it could be obstacles or it could be challenges okay um but i'm seeing the challenges something needs to end okay somebody can need to complete some type of cycle okay or somebody can need to get out of a mindset and somebody needs to feel worthy as well okay um it could even be somebody needs to lose something to gain something with this firm foundation and financial and material changes okay um Somebody could um, potentially have to make a move or they could potentially lose some finances before this connection takes place, especially with the five of pentacles here. I'm here at risk it all. Somebody got to risk it all for something. 
but it's like it's almost like it's gonna be worth it like the first card is fulfillment of wishes so it's like this is beautiful y'all i'm about to cry y'all gotta teach me how to love that's one of my favorite songs but it's like let me clarify these cards I feel like once this connection comes together, if it comes together, it, it'll be a, a really stable connection. Okay, with Pinky Promise here, like, it, I don't feel like it won't be any secrets. This is going to be a very honest connection. Y'all are going to be like each other's number one fans. Oh, that's so cute. Y'all going to be each other's cheerleaders and shit. <laughs> but it's like somebody needs to believe that they are worthy or both people in this connection need to believe they are worthy of having it. And, um... Stop looking at it as a missed opportunity and instead look at it as a possibility. What else, Spirit? What else we got to know about this? We got the Queen of Wands twice. So this could be um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or somebody could um, even be dealing with the fire sign and needing to take a leap of faith. Okay? We have justice. Oh, shit. Or somebody could even be having justice come in a current love situation with a fire sign and needing to take a leap of faith towards a new beginning. Can we clarify um, this Queen of Wands here? Yeah. Um, this could be y'all. Um, but no. Wait. Can we clarify this again? We got the Queen of Wands. And, so clarifying the nine of pentacles is the king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody could even need to move away from a previous connection um, and have some type of justice served because the, it's like, dang, y'all tripping me up. It's toxicity to clarify. Somebody or somebody could be dealing with somebody with somebody. Yeah. <sighs> Y'all, okay, I'm sorry. Um, somebody could already be dealing with somebody that is toxic. Somebody that's not for you. Which is why this is here in reverse. Okay, but there's some type of justice coming in. This could even be some type of legal battle going on. Okay, but something toxic needs to end and complete for this connection to come together. Okay, can we clarify the King of Cups? Yeah. Because there's some type of halt or some type of pause, whether this be you or the person that you are connected to, okay? And there are things hidden. Like, there's a lot more going, going behind the scenes than meets the eye, okay? And we have the king, queen of swords. So, now we have two queens up here. We have the queen of swords and we have the queen of wands. And the queen of swords came out with the page of cups in reverse. So, I feel like... Either you or this person is already in a current connection, okay? And that's why no love offer can be made here, okay? Because something needs to end and something needs to, to be completed. But this could potentially affect the finances of one or both parties, okay? Um, can we get some more info? Yep, I said affect the finances. Ace of Pentacles. Um, yep. But this is some type of faded, like... Whatever this is, it's fated that it happens in the way it happens, okay? And it's going to cause some growth here. Now, this is interesting. was not expecting this type of reading. Well, I guess it was a love reading, but this is like a, um, a, a soul connection, okay? And it's needing both parties to realize what is and what isn't for them and to walk away. But that could be the obstacle. But I am seeing some type of effort is going to be made to reconcile. Um, whichever, the, what, whoever. Um, this could even been a previous connection, y'all. This could have even been somebody you have dealt with already. And it, it was a separation. And now one or both per people are dating other people. And there's a need to separate from those people before this comes together. Um, but it's like... This is like a soul connection. Woman holding a heart, man holding a heart. Can you tell me about this um, couple right here? This woman holding a heart, this man holding a heart. We have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, um, Queen of Swords. Whoever the feminine energy is, is about to make some money. About to get that shmoney, honey. <laughs> Whoever the feminine energy is, is about to become more stable. Okay? In their finances. Clarified by the lover. Um, Gemini energy. 
So I'm feeling like maybe even um, one party could help the other. I'm seeing we have the chariot cancer energy here clarified by the devil. So there could be um, somebody helping the other in this connection. Whether that be financially or that just be with healing or something. To clarify the chariot. Yep. Finances. So whether it be the feminine or the masculine energy, I'm seeing that somebody is going to be helping the other party with their finances if this situation was to happen. This, this energy is crazy. We have a knight of wands here. What's going on? The sun. I feel like this could be somebody that was previously in y'all lives that y'all either broke it off with or this could be a past life connection, okay? And um there is some blockages here and um things cannot come together right now. That's what I'ma say. Um now is not the time because there are some things that need to happen. It will happen. Um, when the time is right, the effort will be made, but I'm just not feeling right now. There's too much, too much stuff going on. It's, it's financial blocks and it's blocks within other connections in one or both of y'all lives. And it's like, yep, the tower. Things need to end. Yep. And somebody could feel betrayed or somebody could not trust the other. And that needs to end as well. So if this is y'all, um, divine counterpart, um, it... I don't feel like right now is the right time for this situation to happen. Yeah, we got to start in reverse and everything is fine. There are too many things that need to go on behind the scenes first before this comes together, okay? And this Queen of Wands come, keeps coming out. Who is this bitch? Who is this Queen of Wands spirit? She keeps coming out. There could even be some type of confusion between the past and the future I'm seeing. Yep, something needs to end. There needs to be some type of spiritual awakening on one or both parts. And then there could be forward movement within this connection. Okay, I feel like this is kind of specific. Um, so if y'all know, this is for y'all, y'all know as well. If it's not, y'all go choose a different pile. But yeah, a, a love offer right now would just kind of be, it would kind of end painfully because it's not the right time. The things aren't ready yet. Yeah, and there's still some sneakiness and some deception going on. So... Um, and there needs to be confidence. There's an underlying feeling of not feeling worthy as well, clarified by the Empress. And there's this healing that needs to be done. That's what I got. So when it comes together, it's going to be a beautiful connection, y'all. It's going to be amazing. Like, I'm getting like, even like y'all could be best friends or y'all could even start up as friends first. But it's like, now, um, there are a lot of things that need to happen first before this can come together. And if this is for y'all, y'all know it's for y'all. If not, like I said, go choose a different pile. Because I do feel like this could probably even be like the pile that's chosen the least. Okay. So, I'm going to get some um, advice. Advice. Well, we know things need to end. That's the major advice. Things need to come down so something else will come up. Advice. King of Swords. There needs to be some growth mentally. Okay, y'all are, yep, not the right time. Two of Cups in reverse. There needs to be some growth on both parts mentally. Okay? And then a new beginning can be had. Somebody could be watching, okay? One of the people in this connection could be watching the other with the page of swords there. Yep. Yeah. Somebody thinks somebody is a star. But y'all, like I said, this is um this is gonna be a, a um some time. So some some time in the making. Let's see if we can get a time frame on this. Can we get some type of time spirit? Any forward movement? So, in Libra season or in Cancer season, there could be forward movement within this. So, either in, what's that, June, July time or um, October time. Depending on who you are, 
or even y'all i'm not gonna lie something could happen as soon as aquarius season as well and we have scorpio season so anywhere between i'm sorry y'all this range is so bright just depending on like your connection and where y'all are um but anywhere between aquarius season which is next month and um scorpio season which is in november things could change between this connection okay and even now capricorn season so yeah y'all now into november expect change or expect some type of forward movement okay so that's what i'm getting for you pal number three if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later Hey, found before. If you chose a disc crystal, welcome to your reading. So we gonna get right into it with the other piles. I did go on my love readings playlist and I shuffled some songs to see what was going on and to just get some songs for you guys. These songs could hold important confirmations. Oh my God, I said confirmations, Lord. Who I need to go to sleep. <laughs> important confirmations or be signs for you in some type of way. You guys could just like these songs. We're going to see what five songs come out for you guys. We have I Like It by KP Montana and Carmen Dior. We have Say Yes by Lil Corey. Oh, I like that song, y'all. That's my song. <laughs> they used to play that at all the juke parties um, when I was growing up. So maybe y'all, this could even be a, um, a childhood love or something, or or some or love that makes you feel childlike. That's what I'm getting. And it's five, five, five as we speak. So there are definitely some changes going on. We have Suffocate by Jay Holiday. Oh, we got Until the End of Time by Justin Timberlake. And, be, and be, is the Beyonce in this? Yeah, and Beyonce. And then we have Say Yes Again by Lil Cory. Oh, this is Floetry this time. Okay, so we had Say Yes by Lil Cory. And we had Say Yes by um, Floetry. But those are the five songs y'all are getting. Um, and like I said, it's 555, so there are definitely changes going on within a connection. Okay, this is beautiful, guys. So, um, right off the bat, I'm feeling like you guys have just been spending a lot of time alone. You guys are spending time trying to increase your connection to the divine to make your intuition stronger. Oh, excuse me. I'm strongly getting this is a, um twin flame higher level soulmate connection okay um it could be between an air sign and a water sign okay but i am seeing that um you guys are kind of like just waiting for things to happen or waiting for things to unfold naturally i feel like y'all are just sick of the dating scene y'all like all that glitters ain't gold like you all have left behind um connections that no longer served you okay y'all could have options or had options in the past but it's like you know y'all would rather just be alone and focus on yourself and heal okay um there's earth sign energy here so i do feel like you guys are becoming more grounded but i almost feel like with somebody's finna shoot they shot if they have not shot they shot already like there's gonna be a peaceful resolution to a situation so like i said this could be somebody you even knew in childhood okay or this could be somebody that is gonna help heal your inner child and bring that inner child out of you okay but they're saying you deserve love and let your friends help so some of you guys are like just chilling with your friends you're hanging with your family your loved ones right now it's like you're you're focused on moving away from things that are not meant for you so that you can bring in things that are okay a lot of y'all could even made a new year's resolution to stop drinking or um you guys are trying to move away from substances in all okay and i'm just feeling like you guys are just trying to purify your energy that's what i'm getting here you guys are kind of maybe on the defense a little bit trying to you know block out things that are not for you but i just feel like a a pure energy i'm chilling until my person comes back type feel <laughs> and i do see a message either coming in or going out okay this could either be like i said an earth sign cancer pisces scorpio um gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn okay um I do see somebody wants another shot with you whether you give this person a shot or not is up to you okay i'm just a reader i'm just here to tell you that see okay but it's like they're telling you you deserve love and i feel like you're gonna be shocked when the right love for you comes around there's a peaceful resolution coming in for a situation that could have ended in the past 
so yeah um this could be um like i said old love coming back or even a new love coming in but i just feel like y'all are tired of games y'all are tired of games y'all are ready for something solid and stable but i do feel like when this next person comes around you will say yes you gotta say yes twice okay um what else so somebody definitely spying on y'all. Somebody definitely peeping y'all out trying to be undercover. This person could be making fake accounts and shit. Okay. Um, yeah. This person is working on the plan to come towards you. I feel like you know who this person is already. If you chose this path. And this person wants to message you. Yeah, this could have been something that definitely ended in the past or just something that left you um in some type of anxiety or tears. I'm getting like you you know this person already. Um and there's going to be um some common ground here. There's going to be a um a, a resolution to any issues, okay? Yep. There will be success and victory here. So if you chose this pal, you're you're going to have success and victory with the person that you are meant to and i strongly feel like this is somebody from your past or this is a past life connection okay but this is something somebody that you're supposed to be with this could even be somebody you feel is your other half okay somebody will be reaching out to the other and there could be some defenses up but i do see that you know things will um, unfold in a way that you know brings this peace brings a a, a resolution for both parties yep this person is not giving up on you. I feel like y'all not giving up on each other. Um, and somebody could even want to give you a gift as well. We have Strength, Leo Energy coming in. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think we got all the signs here. Uh, and don't focus too much on the signs, y'all. It could really be anything, but those could just be, you know, extra confirmations for you guys. But yeah, I feel like you guys even y'all could have a lot of options, but it's like y'all not even worried or focused on those options. I just feel like y'all are just done going through all the weeds and you want the flower, okay? Y'all want the roses, okay? <laughs> you don't want to deal with no more weeds. You don't want to deal with anything else plastic, okay? Anything else fake. You want gold, I'm hearing. You guys are growing. You guys are growing past the mindset of needing to just keep something around to be around. I feel like you guys have become comfortable being by yourself. Because you realize how much you're worth. And your energy is expensive, okay? Before you guys could have been confused. Okay? Either in general or about somebody. But I feel like you guys have done what it takes to... Um, become a star or become a person that deserves the wishes you have been wishing for okay you guys have changed your life have changed your fate and you're just waiting and there will be a peaceful resolution to this somebody will come in and make this hurt right or not right but you know apologize get you from feeling stuck on this or feeling or if somebody left a bad taste in your mouth they'll be coming back in to heal the situation and to ease your mind okay yeah, there's judgment call within the spiritual connection, okay? So somebody definitely could be looking at y'all from afar and wanting to come back in and take a shot, but they could be nervous, okay? But I'm just feeling like, you know, you guys, just keep chilling, keep doing y'all, keep leaving behind what no longer serves you. And when it's time, this person will talk to y'all again, okay? But just know that you deserve love, whether it be with this person or not. Y'all are going to get the love that you guys seek. But just continue to do y'all, okay? Continue to um, be strong and not accept or settle for less, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you, pal number four. If you enjoyed this read, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace.